Hello everyone, it's another edition of Sauce Talk. This time, a stripped down edition. I'm not rushing to work, uh, but I'm not in my usual getup. I thought I'd keep it casual because this is kind of a, a hot sauce edition of it, and it's supposed to be enjoyed in a very casual setting. It's not something really upscale, not that any of my salsas or pasta sauces or anything were, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit. But without further ado, let's get into this week's hot sauce, el yucateco, which is of course Mexican for the yucateco. You may recognize this from your favorite burrito place. It's fairly common in a lot of Mexican restaurants or burrito taco joints. I've seen it around. I think I, I sampled it years and years ago. I didn't really remember it too much, except I knew it was going to be a little on the spicy side, and it is hot sauce chili habanero. So that right there gives you an idea roughly what to expect. It's got more heat than say a jalapeno, although this brand does have a jalapeno variety. The green sauce from what I saw is the mildest, and I think they have, I think a total of six sauces. I uh, don't think I've tried any others aside from this, I guess you can call it the original, which is I guess somewhere in the middle in the heat, but I think it's actually a very good heat level. In fact, I would dare say it's at the upper register of my enjoyment. Any any more than that, and you're just you're just taking heat for the sake of the heat. You know this, and this is getting into the review itself. It's got the heat that you want, but it has depth of flavor. With habanero, it's got a little bit of a fruitiness. Um, it's got some depth to it, and the heat really catches up with you after a little while. It's got that as the aftertaste. And it really can bite you if you're not too careful. But looking at the ingredients, because that's important, water, habanero pepper, tomato. It's got a lot of tomato. So when you're when you're pouring this out, it's not gonna be coming out in drops. It is. You're gonna pour this bad boy. You gotta be careful. Because this will uh, spill out on you, and you're gonna have a bit more than you expected if you aren't careful. And aside from that, just some extra nonsense preservatives that I usually don't like to see in this stuff, but hey, I wanted to try something different, so not going to be a regular habit. But yeah. As I started to say, this is kind of at the upper limit of my preference for heat, because as I've always said, I don't want to eat something just because it's hot. I want it to be hot and interesting. If it's a vinegar base, if it's a tomato base, kind of like this, if it's got a smokiness to it, that's fine if it's got heat, but I want there to be levels to it. If you want some straight cayenne pepper, that's what Tabasco or Crystal is for. It's mostly just going to be a little heat in a straightforward manner, but this is much more interesting. That said, I'm not sure it would be appropriate for absolutely everything. If you have something kind of bland, this would really be a wonderful way to spice it up and add the depth of flavor. But if you've got something very complex in in nature as it is, this might fight it a little bit with between the heat, the tomato, the the slight sweetness that the habanero provides. You got you have a couple layers there and that could really complicate things. So with that said, let me get to scores. El Yucateco Fairly common, should be fairly inexpensive. And out of five, Spaghetti in Hell, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a three. Should be rather versatile, it's, I'd say, uh, I really am curious about some of the other varieties though, because this is a great starting point. But I don't know if it's appropriate for everything, and, you know, it's got some qualities that very few uh, other hot sauces have, which I have to applaud it for, but flavor-wise, is it necessarily my favorite? Maybe not, but I do think it's really cool that it's something different, and it does what it sets out to do very well. Gotta give it some props there. So, with that said, please follow Decent Exposure Radio on Instagram if you're so inclined. Uh, this will end up on there. Lesser of Two Equals is the comedy route, which it's... Uh, the YouTube channel that maybe you're watching it on. Maybe you're watching it on um, Facebook, the page for Lesser of Two Equals. Feel free to write to Lesser of Two Equals at gmail.com if you have a sauce you want me to sample. 
you know, I don't do cheese. I don't do things like mayo or ketchup or what have you. So I am very particular, but I am open to suggestions and I will certainly consider them. Um, yeah, do you have any sauces that you like? Salsa, sauce, hot sauce, whatever. I'm down. I'll uh, try to track it down. So thank you so much. Stay saucy.